Hey all here OS Reviews, sometimes the best gadgets are the unexpected and unique ones, and today we're taking a look at maybe an example of that. It's called the Liangfang Shenqi, which is Chinese and translates roughly to measurement wizard. Essentially, this is a laser distance meter, but it's unique because it's Bluetooth enabled and connects to your smartphone or tablet and allows you to more quickly visualize whatever you're measuring. It's smart enough that it can do much more than just a simple distance measurement. It can also measure surface area. It can also measure volume. So a pretty cool concept and another example of a smart connected home product that's uh, using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to become a bit more powerful than previous versions. The measurement range is from 0.05 to 70 meters, so pretty wide. It has a rechargeable lithium ion battery that's 850 milliamp hours. And again, it has all of these different features, including Pythagorean indirect measurement. So inside we have just the device itself. It's bright red. I don't believe it comes in any other colors. So this is just the one choice that you have. We have the aforementioned carrying pouch. We have a rechargeable uh, micro USB cable. It takes about two hours to recharge. There is a certification warranty card. There's one more surprise. If you take this out of the package, there's also three AAA batteries. Even though there's already a rechargeable pack that's inside here that you can use to just, again, use the micro USB cable to charge it up. There's also um, AAA batteries that you can use to swap it in, perhaps if you're in an emergency and you don't have access to a charger. So the design and construction quality is very durable. Everything is coated in an extremely thick layer of rubber, which makes sense. It has to be rather industrial to survive potential drops and shocks if you're using it in construction zones. As far as the controls are concerned, we have access to a read key that you can tap on once just to wake it up. The screen is backlit, as you can see there, so you can still see it in the dark. By default, Bluetooth is automatically turned on. You can change your measurement units. Also, you can record the volume of something. You can save a measurement. You can clear something or turn it off, as well as change between different other modes that are built on in. The very top here just features kind of the laser beam that's coming out. There's a lanyard strap on the side, and on the very back, there's also a tripod mount. So if you want to position it in a bit more of a stable manner, a closer look at its menu here. So immediately we also see it has an accelerometer, which does the detection for the angle automatically. If I point it downwards, it's going negative. Upwards, it's positive. Right now, again, it's measuring the volume. It's going to start off with maybe the length measurement. So you would tap once to read it, and then you would record that and then move on to the uh, length measurement next uh, and then you would record the height so it just multiplies the length times the width times the height to get the volume and it does all that automatically as you can see there by the three different rows uh, into feet squared as the units. Here's the indirect measurement. We see the triangle start to flash. So if you want to measure the height of a really tall object, maybe a tower or a building, you know, it can be really difficult to do that directly because there is no ceiling that you can stop the measurement from. So you would use the Pythagorean theorem by first uh, measuring from your point to the very top peak of the building, and then you would do another measurement from your point to the base of the building, and it would automatically calculate the height based on those two uh, points that you measured. So let's say I want to do a test of what the distance from here to the very corner of this room is. I can just aim at that point and then hold still for a few seconds and then tap on the read key here and it will read the measurement there. It just takes a split second. You can see right now it's at 10.03 feet away. We're also able to do things like adding it on and you don't need a calculator. So if I want to you know, add the measurement of this distance plus maybe an another distance from the wall, I can simply tap on the add key here. It will record the distance here. And um, again, that distance was 7.09 feet. So it's added the two together, which is 18 feet. So it does all of these computations automatically. I believe you can add multiple sums. It just keeps the previous aggregation and you can keep on going if you want to keep on adding things together or subtracting things works as well. The app seems primarily designed for creating floor plans. So it's not quite as generic or general as I would have hoped, but it still is kind of interesting to look at. We can enter details like the estimated area of the room. We can enter some additional naming structure information as well as the type of the room that we're doing such as an apartment, a bedroom. If we select that and tap on OK, we are now able to, it looks like, draw the walls of the room to create that floor plan map. And uh, you can also create other shapes and structures using the app directly. So it's 
kind of an interesting like an architecture design tool that they've built here and you're also able to uh, change different types of you know structures and kind of backgrounds for the type of room that you're using and add different types of connector objects as well and if I wanted to actually measure the distance of this uh, in real life, I can do that with my measurer here by tapping on the connect key. You can see it pop up uh, as the device name. It will now be connected using Bluetooth. And if I wanted to read the distance there, and we can see how the line seems to have grown because it's scaled itself appropriately based on the actual distance the uh, measurer has seen. So it's able to just uh, do that automatically. You can then move on to maybe your next uh, surface or, or wall and draw another estimated line, tap on the read, and then it will again automatically reshuffle its size depending on the measurement in real life. There's a lot more features in here that you can dig into, such as putting in furniture, you can change the angle, you can off-center different objects, um, and it really is similar to a more complicated kind of architecture app that you may have on a computer. But since I don't have that particular background, it can be a little bit overwhelming at first to just go through because there are so many things that you can change. Once saved, it just shows up as different plans that you've created. Now, I do wish there was, again, a simpler option, maybe for those that don't want to use this for creating a floor plan, but just want to save the measurements that they do from the device. That would be very nice. So that's more or less it for our hands-on review of the Liangfang Shenqi Smart Bluetooth-enabled distance measurer. Uh, it can do, again, much more than just a traditional line measurement. It's also able to do volume. It's able to do different angle measurements. All in all, I think that if you're looking for a advanced distance measure that is going to best in terms of accuracy and speed to that of a traditional tape measure, or if you want something with more features than on a older generation digital measure, this is definitely an interesting gadget to take a closer look at. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.